Now let's talk about tomato pests. Oh, tomato. Everybody likes to grow tomatoes, Yeah, everybody right? has at least yes. one or two tomatoes, yes. maybe a pepper thrown in there. I brought a tomato plant today. Okay. It's, it's going good. When they put those in the ground, sometimes you find them the next day and they've been clipped off. Uh -huh. Now what could do that? the cutworm. Cutworm, right. exactly. Right. Most, a lot of these cutworms don't even overwinter here, but they right. fly up on these spring storm fronts that we have. So the moth is down, lives down south, like the black cutworm. Okay. They lay their eggs on weeds and things, and then as soon as you start tilling your garden and planting your vegetables, guess what? They're looking for something to eat. <laughs> right. They're nocturnal feeders. Okay. So they're under clumps of dirt in the soil, uh, during the uh, daytime, they come out at night, okay. and then they clip a plant and pull it back into their underground den to feed on. Wow, that's interesting. So yeah. some people will get uh, around the plant, put a, l a little circle with aluminum foil. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. That will kind of deter the cutworms a little bit. Okay. Some people, organic, they might put within that circle, they might put diatomaceous earth ah. or something irritating the insect. Okay. Um, so those are some things. And then of course we have insecticides sure. that you could spray the, so you wanna spray the soil around the plant and the base of the plant. Okay. So that when they walk across the soil at night, they pick them. up the insecticide. Okay, how about that? Yeah. And what about aphids? Yeah, yeah aphids, uh, they, they can fly. Some aphids <laughs> fly and the, they'll move in from wild host plants, weeds and such. Mm -hmm. They'll land on usually the terminal of the plant, these new tender leaves. And aphids can give rise to other aphids very quickly. Mm -hmm. The female can either lay eggs or she can give rise to uh, a live young, wow. so live birth. So you have lots of aphids very quick. Their life cycle is very fast. Okay. And, and so you can start out with just a few wing forms that come in, they start laying eggs or giving birth, and then you have lots <laughs> of aphids. So I like to, if I see aphids on a plant and I haven't put it in the ground, I take it, lay it on its side, and wash it down with soapy water. Okay. With a hose, a really right. strong jet of ho uh, water, okay. so you just blast the aphids off. And you could really do that still when they're in the garden. If you see a tomato plant in the morning, just blast the top of it, you see some aphids, and just physically remove them. Okay. And then let the lady beetles and uh -huh. other predators. So a lot of people, they want to do the first thing is use an insecticide. Yes. But I say caution with aphids because if you just wait a couple weeks, lady beetles will lay their eggs there, their lemon yellow eggs. Mm -hmm. They lay them on the leaves amongst the aphids. There's also a type fly called surfid flies or hover flies. They'll lay a single white egg right there where the aphids are and the larva is predaceous. It'll just wow. tear them apart. There's a lot of good beneficial insects. If we don't use a lot of insecticide in the garden, we can really build up good numbers of these insects. Good, so, I'm glad you mentioned that. Yeah. Good, good. Okay, the, so, yeah, go ahead. I was just gonna say the next thing is protecting the fruit. Okay. So we're, we have a plant, we've got good size on it, it's flowering. There's lots of different caterpillars that okay. will lay eggs on, on the fruit or on the leaves nearby. The, probably the big one you see is the, is the uh, tomato or tobacco hornworm. Uh -huh. And they have the little tail looking thing yeah. at the tail end. <laughs> and these caterpillars will get several inches long when full size. And often you don't see them when they're small. They, they kind of camouflage. Yeah. One time, uh, not too long ago, I, I had tomatoes on my deck. And guess what? We had corn earworms. We had hornworms. We had yellow striped army worms. We had southern army worms. There's a whole bunch of caterpillars. And all of this you said was in the city. Yeah, right? this was this right in city. suburbia. Right. Right. And, and they, they find your plants. Okay. So the, the moths are out at night. They lay their eggs on the leaves of the plant or on the fruit. And then they hatch out in a, in a couple days. And those caterpillars might feed for a couple weeks. Wow. So when they're tiny, they don't do that much damage. But maybe by the time they get an inch long, when they're about a fourth or fifth instar or, or stage, yeah. they can do a lot of feeding damage damage. For sure. Yeah. So uh, usually you can pick off, if you just have a few plants, you can pick them off every day, but you have to be out there almost every day because they can <laughs> do a lot of damage uh -huh. and they're hard to see. Uh, insecticides can be used. One of the safer products for caterpillars is BT. Yes. It stands for Bacillus thuringiensis. It's a bacterial toxin. It's very safe for humans to be around and pets but it's very toxic to caterpillars. It paralyzes their midgut. Ah. 
and then they stop feeding yeah. almost immediately and then they soon die. But it won't hurt your beneficial insects, Good. your lady Good beetles, point. surfeit flies, and other things. Okay. Green lace wings, for instance. So BT is one of the safer things for gardeners to use. We have a publication, uh, uh, UT Extension Publications, it's called You Can Control Garden Insects. You might want to check that out it is a good online. Yeah, it has, it, it has some pictures of what the insects look for and also control recommendations. Okay. And also some on the beneficial insects. Doc, we're glad you're here. That's good stuff. All right. Thank you, Chris. Thank you. We can tell you love this stuff. Oh, it's great. <laughs> What's better? <laughs> Thank you. Thanks for watching the video. I hope you enjoyed it. To find out more information on this topic, just click on the familyplotgarden.com link in the description.